Oftentimes patients are uh, challenged with the decision of who is going to be doing their treatment. More often than not, the first person who they'll be exposed to will be their general dentist, who will tell them what their needs might be. And at that point, a decision would have to be made by the patient who's going to deliver that treatment. I think it's incumbent upon the patient to really make sure that they know what their dentist has been trained to do or not trained to do and seek out the best care. Oral and maxillofacial surgeons are trained to deliver the highest quality care for surgical procedures, specifically dental implants, bone grafting, IV sedation, and I think that the level of treatment and success is so much higher when those services are delivered by a qualified, competent oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Today, patients are faced with making very difficult decisions on who's going to be treating them. We've been involved in placing dental implants now for over 40 years. And over those 40 years, our success rate has rivaled the success rate of any other practice in the country. We feel that we are able to deliver implants at a success rate in the well mid-95 percentile. And we're also able to make sure that we can manage patients who have complications or problems with implants after they're placed. Once we place the implant, we don't abandon the patient. We follow that patient for a significant period of time just to make sure they maintain it well and they can have this implant for the longest period of time possible, just like their teeth need to be kept for the longest period of time possible.